Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this one-off quick look thing at the Neo 2 open beta. So it is an open beta. I played the closed beta a while back and I loved the first Neo and the closed beta for this was a lot of fun. So let's just step right into it. Lord Nobunaga is eager to expand his influence into the northern reaches of Mino. Mino, a key strategic location where Dosan has a stronghold without a castle to give us a foothold, it'd be extremely difficult to launch any kind of meaningful attack. But Saito is not just going to sit and watch a castle being built near his turf without taking action. Don't worry, though. I may have just the idea. Leave it to Hidenoji. So this takes place before the first Neo. So we're actually... I'm pretty sure this takes place during uh, Sonomata, the place where the numerous rivers that weave their way through the surrounding of forests and valley converge, an important strategic point along the borders of Awari and Mino province. It has long been contested during the Warring States period. It was seized from the Daimyo by the powerful Kawa... Kawanami clan and short of convincing them to simply hand it over it looks next to impossible to take it back I think this takes place during uh, the uh, Revolution like Nobunaga and all those guys basically unifying Japan But <laughs> if you don't know who Oda Nobunaga is go read up on this dude because he's a fucking badass Spoilers, I am the female with the red hair. Oh, no Kodamas. And that is a big ass yokai. No, it's not. Maybe they are yokai. Of some kind. I don't know. But the two weapons I chose at the start is just standard old katana, and I chose the switchglaive, which this thing is super cool. Its uh, middle stance is a pretty cool, like, glaive. Low stance, it becomes this cool, like, really quick, like, cleaver-type weapon. And its high stance is a scythe. So real quick, that is, I will go over that real quick. There are three different stances for each weapon, high, medium, and low. You get different moves. Obviously, low stance is fast, uses a little, uses the least stamina. Middle stance is standard, high stance is slow. You also get different moves and things like that, but I'm not really going to get into that stuff. We're just going to play. Building a castle from scratch? That'd take way too long. No, the best place is to seize a fort and turn it into a castle. So you get to make your character in this one, and I chose to make this chick. So yeah. But, since it's the new weapon, we'll play around with the Switchglaive. This is straight up a fucking Bloodborne weapon. So yeah, this takes place before the first Neo, I think. Lone Wolf's Hood. Hey, cool beans. We get a cool little uh, ninja mask. We get our first shrine. These are our bonfires, our checkpoints. We rest here and we can... Um... Can we change our guardian spirit? So we have Makami, Amanomitori, and Kagawani. Um, we'll try all three of them out for this little one-off that I'm going to do. This beta does go from today, the 1st of November, until the 10th of November. So you've got time to play it, and if you complete it, I'm pretty sure you get some goodies for the real game. Plus, from what I've heard, if you have a Neo 1 save data on your hard drive, you can uh, fight William, who is the protagonist of the first game.
Ooh, this thing hits like a fucking truck. Ooh, that's nice. So the Switch Glaive does scale with, I think, magic more than anything. So it's probably going to be an interesting, like, magic-y weapon. But it's really cool. Like, this is a really cool weapon so far. It's got a really nice balance between its modes with speed, reach, and power. I have a feeling this thing is just going to... Oh, hey, a uh, Bloodstained Katana. So you can summon these revenants to fight. Um, they are either going to be... Pre Ooh. They are either going to be placed there by devs, or they will be player characters who you won't actually be fighting the person. You are fighting them where they died, basically. You're fighting their spirit. <laughs> I will eat your stamina, dude. Don't think I won't. See, I told you I would. I'm going to get killed by this guy. <laughs> it has free from this mortal coil, impaled by a revenant. When a warrior falls in battle, their guardian spirit collects the scattered Amrita and forms a grave site awaiting their owner. Should the warrior return to touch their grave, their loyal guardian spirit, and... Uh, the Amrita that is required to level up will be lost when you die. Yeah, yeah. So these blue ones, however, you can summon... Uh, basically, they're NPCs to uh, fight alongside you. Just like Dark Souls, you can summon people to fight with. You can also summon real... People. You can play with human beings. Hey! Hey! Oh, bad. So there's our guardian spirit. We get all of our Amrita back. I am not going to fight that Revenant, because all you get for fighting them is usually you'll get item drops. Like, what they're wearing, you get the chance to drop uh, their gear to drop. And what people used to do in the first game to kind of do trades was um, equip the gear that someone was looking for and then go die in a spot that they could easily find, and then you would just constantly farm their Revenant. And eventually, you could get their gear. Although I'll probably build this character when I actually get to play the game like I do in the... I, I like using like the ninjutsu and the magic and stuff. So we got some sacred water. I think that is the, a healing item. There's an item back here. Ah, yeah, key pulse. So I haven't been... So our stamina bar up on the top left, you can see stamina, health... And uh, I think it's that's for our yokai transformation. If you... When you drain your stamina, if you hit R1 at a... Well, you want to do it like at the peak of when it's about to recharge, so you get all of it, but you'll get your stamina back, and you can also do this thing called... I think it's called like purifying. It's for something that we haven't run into yet. I'm not going to get too much into that stuff, because... Oh, we're actually going to run into what I was just talking about here in a second. The thing you can purify. I'm not going to get too much into that, because it's a beta, and you just need to play it for yourself. But it is a fun, fun game. I love Neo. The first game was so much fun. Fuma Ninja. Ooh, Fuma Clan. Ooh, this dude's kind of nasty. Hey, there's a Kodama. Hey, I don't think I have a parry. I'll have to check my, uh... Ooh, that's what we want. We want some big, heavy, hitting, hurting damage. What did he just do? Wow. Wow. All right, dude. What was that shit? Fuck you, man. Some bullshit. I don't even know what he did. When I get back there, asshole, you're dead. Actually, let me check. Um, skill points obtained. Hey, we got some skill points. 
Uh, learn skills. Here you can learn new skills. Type of skill points must match the category or the corresponding skill you wish to learn. You can also check the status of acquired skills. So you get skill points based on the weapons you use and stuff like that. So we'll go to the Switchglaive. And yeah, they've added so many, like, they've added so much stuff compared to the first game. So we can parry the enemy attack, circling around them carefully before going for a diagonal slash. I actually am probably going to get that. Um... Switch the switch glaive from guillotine. Oh, I'm sorry, guillotine to glaive and then to scythe. Okay, so that's what that mode's called: is guillotine. I am going to take the parry because it's a parry, and gotta have parries. So it's for mid stance. Parries are pretty usually pretty generous in Neo compared to like Dark Souls. See? Although the I was at a really I was at like a higher elevation than him, so I missed the actual Oh, I'm fucking it up too much. Okay, anyway. Ooh, that's wicked. Sorry, good sir, but you are now dead. How does that make you feel? Oh, that dude heard me. So this plays very similar to a Souls game. It'll get compared to so it got compared to Souls games, but it, mechanically, like the Amarita, like stuff like that, that's all very Souls like. Combat wise, it's more akin to like a Ninja Gaiden game, which is fantastic because you get these cool combos, and each weapon like has a standard like combo. Like they don't have these variations in moves like weapons in Souls games do, but as you unlock skills, you get, like, new moves for your weapons and stuff like that. It's actually really, really cool. And this is one of the few games that I have played in a while that has spears that are actually really fun to use. I don't want to jack my weight up too much. Because just like, you know, Souls games, again... There are a lot of games, really. There is a weight mechanic. So yeah, so far enjoying this. I'm assuming this is probably one of the first missions in the real game, in like the game. Man, that scythe feels really good. It's just like I don't know. It's really heavy and damage output on it it's great I'm sure everybody is using this thing because it's the new weapon so yeah we could summon now 5551 five, five, I'm not going to uh, I might bring in Alucard for a few missions depends on if he wants to play which I'm sure he would want to play so you might see Alucard for a little bit in this um a little quick look one off that I'm gonna do for the beta all right, let's see if I can't parry you. Nope, I cannot, because I'm bad at this game. Wow, I did that way too early. Wow, I did. I keep doing that way too early, because I think he's going to attack when he just fucking stands there. Oh, I didn't get my Guardian Spirit back. Oh, well, I really don't care. Sudama Kodama that have transformed into Aratama bear no malice towards man. They simply covet a diverse range of curious items. Should one find oneself in possession of goods that hold no deep value, it would not hurt to give them to a Sudama. If the item is to their liking, they may hand over something in return. So we got our guardian spirit back, but we lost our Amrita, which whatever. I'm I don't care all that much. The one thing, well, when it comes to co-op, uh, Neo does that so much better than a Souls game. The main biggest reason being you can, um, there's a thing called the Tory Gate, and you can just set up a lobby, and you can just constantly keep playing with the same person or people. I get that Neo is an open world like uh, Souls is, but the way they handle co-op is like just 
fantastic, I think. I am killing this son of a bitch, though. This guy is gonna die if it takes me the entire fucking episode for this. What? Really? Really? Okay. Alright then. I'm going to kill you, dude. You're going to die. I don't I don't care. If I could fucking parry, I'd be fine. Really? That's what's gonna happen. Now you're gonna give me shit. Fucker. Oh, I have a skill point for uh the Switchglaive. So we can branch off into, this is going to be a bunch of mid-stance. Uh, follow up a quick attack by a thrust with the butt end of the weapon. Hi, right, sending so debris flying towards the enemy with a twisting stab. Let's take the high stance. Hey, hey! Stop it. Dude, fuck you. Wow. Alright. That's what that other asshole did. This is just a grab move. Is that what that indicates? Can't believe I've died this many times, but I'm having fun. But this move, I'm curious if it's gonna work the way I think it does. The move I just unlocked. Nope, it does not work the way that I thought it would. Nope. Okay. Let's kill these two idiots. And that's another mechanic from uh, returning from the first game is familiarity. Once you max out a weapon's familiarity, you just really get a damage bonus with it. I don't know if it does anything else. That dude wasn't even like a hard enemy. He killed me twice. I was getting my revenge. One, ooh, uh, Amio Mage Lock. So what those are, in our items, they give us skill points for a specific um, tree. That will give us a skill point in Amio Magic. So we can, uh, allows you to ready a Fire Talisman, which will battle buff our weapons with fire. I, purity is a new one, but that buffs our weapons with that. Uh, lightning Talisman and Water Talisman. We are going to go down... Um, you know what? Let's... Oh, that inflicts damage to Yokai. We'll go with fire. We'll just do traditional. So we can't use that until we have readied our jutsu at um, a shrine. Oh, I've got something else, apparently. Did I get something? I got something else with the switchglaive. Well, we'll take some abilities and... Uh... Switch the switch glaive from guillotine to glaive and then to scythe. Sure. But this is a Kodama. If you find all the Kodama in a mission, you get these little, uh... So wait, how do I do that move that I just unlocked? Oh, it's, it's a combo for mid-stance, isn't it? Looks like it's a combo for uh, mid and low stance, where high stance gets this. 
Yeah, okay, so that's cool. We'll take a look at the Kodama once we, um... Uh, get to a point where we need to. And this is a yokai! So usually if you hit their, like, horns... And this, that little yokai realm thing, the thing that he just summoned, if you do the key pulse, it'll purify it. If you're standing in it... Ugh, he just unlocked me. If you're standing in it, you don't regen stamina all that fast. <laughs> Fucking stunlock dickhead. Oh. We can ready our ninjutsu. So we can ready a jutsu. I know I'm, I shouldn't be skipping that. I'll let you guys read it, but... We equip it to a shortcut which I will put it here, it is ready, we can use it, and we can use it so many times, and then, um, we have to let it recharge. How do I... Ah, there it is, okay. You can only use it so many times, and then when you rest at a, uh, shrine, it'll get recharged. Really, bro? I'm just gonna stun lock me like that, huh? I should also mention that you can, if it's like the first game anyway, you can do those key pulses instead of hitting R1. You can. Oh, you can't, it looks like. I thought you could. I thought you could get it back by dodging, too, but it looks like you cannot. Hey, there's another yokai. This is a different one. Ooh, she creepy looking. Nope. I know you're gonna do something that I cannot block, because that is what that indicates, I do believe. Uh, she threw something at me? Oh yeah, she's throwing that, uh knife or whatever it is in her offhand. Okay. Alright, so there's another yokai. This is a different path. So yokai come in different flavors, and they are usually... Oh, we got ninja locks, so just like the Onmyo Mage locks, this will give us points to use ninjutsu. Which I think we can get shuriken and kunai. Uh, gunpowder bombs, shuriken, gallnut broth, which poisons your weapon, and tiger running increases your top dash speed. We are going to take shuriken, because shuriken are really useful. I thought I picked up some other armor pieces. Heirloom Carass, there it is. Weighs too much, I don't want to wear it. Sure, it would be fine, but eh, I don't need it. Ah, there's the yokai we were fighting.